Our exercise of maligning the fake reputation of a fake company demonstrates the scary capability of these social media companies. Priyadarshan Pathak well and truly delivered the online negative propaganda of our fake company. As you can see, the online abuse ranges from threatening emails to the company's official ID to Facebook fueled invective. The malpractices of these companies are in direct violation of the representation of the People Act and IT Act. Their conduct indicates a malaise that has penetrated through various layers of our social fabric. In the political context, they are abetting subversive political interests. At the sociological level, they are exploiting the impressionable youth and the naive voters. At the technological level, they are capitalizing on the loopholes in the tri regulations. At the electoral level, the basis of their strategy is that our election commission controls merely on ground and on air campaigning, but totally powerless in online administration. While much of this is amusing at best and illegal at worst, it begs the bigger question. How can the manic confusion spread by these miscreants be controlled without curbing freedom of speech of individuals? Every time the government has taken affirmative action, it has been seen as escalation of an already aggressive policy against defamation of political leaders. Take the case of Kapil Sibal launching an offensive to force Facebook and Google to pre-screen content or the arrest of two young men for posting derogatory content on Orkut about Sonia Gandhi or the trashing of cyber cafes by Shiv Sena supporters in protest of Orkut pages denigrating Bal Thakre and Shivaji. It may be a good time for such intolerance to be extended to protect public interest. The power of rumour has long been evident, be it Lord Ganesha's sudden thirst for milk on one fine morning, or the world coming to an end in 2012, or the damaging post on the Facebook page of Mercury Aviation. The rumour mills have found a new address in the online world. Keep watching Operation Blue Virus.